Hello and welcome to this short video with me, Alex Aprigliano. In this example, we're going to be looking at how we can apply a material to a part and also create custom materials. Okay, so we have this pendant here and we want it to be made out of um, annealed copper. So to apply a material to a part, you just simply right click the materials folder in the feature tree. Now within here, you'll have a choice of favorites, which is customizable. And if you want uh, full access to the SolidWorks materials database, just simply click on edit material. And that will take you into the, uh, the full library here. So within here, you'll see several folders depending on which version of SolidWorks that you have. Generally in SolidWorks, all of our materials are added from the SolidWorks materials folder here. Okay, so if we drill down into there, and then copper alloys, you'll notice that we have choices of coppers and um, brasses. Uh, within there though, we, we don't see any uh, copper annealed, which is what we want. So what do we do to get that copper annealed in? If we select a material, you'll find that all of these values are read only. Okay, so you don't have the ability to change anything within the material. Okay, now it says it here at the top, uh, materials in the default library cannot be edited. You must first copy the material to a custom library to edit it. So what we'll do now is we'll look at how we can create a custom library. So to do that, just simply right click and you can select new library. At this stage, it will prompt you to give it a name and save it away. So for this example, we're just gonna save it onto my desktop. Okay, now under there, what we want to do is we want to add a category. So let's just click on new category and we'll call this coppers. Okay, so we can actually create a new material directly in that library or what you tend to do more often than not is actually copy and paste materials. So we'll find the copper um, which is closest to the one that we want to copy. So we'll just select copper, select copy, and then we'll paste it in our library here. Okay, so from within there, if I select it, you'll see that everything within here now becomes available to access. So first thing I'm going to do is just change the title to copper annealed. I'm then going to change some of these properties. Okay, so the majority of the things that I've changed in here would only affect how it behave in a simulation. The density, however, will uh, allow us to calculate an accurate weight. Also, you have the ability to uh, define what default appearance it has. So at the moment, uh, when I apply this material, it will give it a polished copper appearance. Let's change that to satin finished. Also, we have the ability to define what the default um, cross hatch would be if you was to section this view in a drawing. So again, you are free to choose from this drop down list here. I'm gonna keep it the same. Okay, now if we go ahead, we'll apply those, uh, uh, apply that material to the part and we'll close this off. For your information, um, a good site to get um, material properties from will be uh, MatWeb. And also you'll find that if you speak to your uh, material suppliers, they may be able to give you data sheets um, with the, the correct information on also. The last thing we're gonna look at here is how we can share our library with other users. Now all you do is go to the options, go into file locations, and then from the drop down, select material databases. So what you would do is you would save the material database to a server location, and then just simply on all the client machines, add that location to this list. Hope you enjoyed the presentation. Thank you for watching.